So I'm going to formally introduce, um, formally or informally, uh, Margo Riddler. Um, many of you uh, have met Margo uh, many years ago. She actually walked into the center and anchored Constellation, really in Southern California, many, many years ago. And so this is a well. 20 years ago. Oh, 20, 20 years 20. ago. This is a well nurtured space. <laughs> So I'm going to start my introduction by saying I, I have the privilege of going out to lunch one day and she was sitting actually, Deborah, where you are. And I was I told, oh, I had to meet um, Margo. Many of you heard this story. I said to myself, no, I have to eat lunch. <laughs> and then I had just been at a workshop with um, uh, Dr. Klinghart uh, up in Seattle and he had mentioned Bert Hellinger's work, transgenerational family constellation work. So of course I forgot lunch. I, and I then it started this adventure. So um, Barbara will tell you a little of her story. She was here five years and she left on an adventure, um, took on a whole new state of understanding and a state of being, and then walked back into this uh, field uh, two or three years, two years ago I think. So you'll say more about that. but. Today I just want to keep this short, but say, um, really as a healthcare uh, provider, I've been a chiropractor for 30 years. I'm privileged to sit in this room with many different modalities moving uh, in and out of this field, introducing people to new concepts or new ways of being or seeing. Um, and I, I study with many people all over the world about biology and methylation, so you know, all those little ways that we can sort of, you know, kind of fuss around with inflammation and, and chemistry. But bar all of that, I have to say, all of my clients, and many of you know me, and I pointed you uh, there, I say to everyone, I can do a lot with your biology or chemistry. I could give you reading lists and point you in directions, but I really invite you for the deepest healing to either sit in to a Bert Hellinger's work, family constellation work, to do a deeper healing and a deeper understanding of why your your life has some you know stuckness to it, whether it's physical or emotional, and or uh, Reich Hammer's work. It's called the German New Medicine. It's a growing understanding of how biology. Uh, biologizes conflict in the physical body. Um, many people know, of course, uh, Helen Hayes, um, Louise Hayes, I'm sorry, but this is a deeper biological, biochemical, biophysical understanding of how conflicts basically unfin unresolved will biologize a disease or an inflammation in the body. So today I just want to introduce you to why I I think this is profound work and how it couples in with Roy Hammer's work, which is, um, I, many of you, if you've seen the, um, the charts that Margot has in her book, you'll see a chart like this, and basically this is us coming in, bound by all our family stories, all our ancestral stories, so we come in already programmed, and then our invitation for freedom and for health is to untangle and let go of those programs to a free state. Reich Hammer's work basically says that life happens and we have these programs and when someone says something or something happens in the world that's overwhelming or shocking to you, your body, and there's not a quick solution, your body interprets that statement, that event, through already a preconceived sense of danger or conflict or, or trauma. And so you'll biologize some kind of inflammation comes some kind of a, a state. So for me, with Marco now really looking at ending these programs, not only in the Bert Hellinger's way, but even in a deeper way, we get to release those patterns, those programs that actually tangle us into trauma and conflict, which then we have to biologize and we live it in a, an uncomfortable state, whether it's an illness, psychological pattern, addiction uh, pattern. So today with you, Margo, you get to, not only for, as a physician, I say, you get us to see by letting go, we're not only free-er, 
but also healthier. Yeah. So, welcome to Sunday. Uh, I call it Sunday with Margo. <laughs> <laughs>